Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and uh, I'm brewing up some standard. I uh, haven't played too much standard as of late, uh, outside of best of one blue white control, which is really good for me so far. I'm 13 and one with it. I uh, posted a original video a couple days ago, updated list is on my Twitter, but we'll get back to that when we try to close it on top 1200. Um, this deck here is kind of a port over the historic version that I played a couple weeks ago, um, and it's kind of a good stuff Jun deck, um, but kind of more mid-range, um, not like big mana Ugin style. Um, I don't think this is ready on ladder yet. I've been trying out a couple different cards. Um, so we're really gonna take this time to brew um, and see what changes we wanna make for this particular deck. But kind of the core of the deck is use efficient removal and then kind of get cards that take have modular effects or just good card advantage or extra effects. So we have stuff like Chevelle that draws you cards, gains you life when you kill things with its counter. Valky is obviously a very powerful Planeswalker or kind of a steel thing creature early on. Uh, Clothis, very good at attacking graveyards, hard for Saltai to deal with. Uh, Bone Crushers, removal and a threat. A uh, card that I've liked in Historic, and I want to try it out in Standard, Sarulf Realm Eater. So it's a 3-mana three 3-3, three, three, so decent stats on its own. Whenever a permanent opponent controls is put into the graveyard, it gets 1-1 one, one counter. In the beginning of your upkeep, you can remove counters from it uh, and then exile all uh, permanents uh, with each other, non-land permanent with uh, equal to uh, counters. So this is really good against indestructible stuff, against the aggro decks. Um, so this one's pretty sweet. Um, then we have Eska's Chariot as a way to kind of get token advantage. Um, we have ways to make tokens with like Elder Gargaroth. Uh, as well as with um, the Not Vold Slumber Mound. Um, so basically blow up their land and then we can make trolls. But on its own, it's just something we can crew and then have a powerful effect. Um, Ox is kind of used here as a way to refill our hand late game. Uh, we have a lot of ways to trade one for one and we get advantage. Uh, removal, we got a bunch of it. Blood Chief's Thirst, Eliminate, Heartless Act. Um, Inscription of Ruins, another card that's really flexible in this type of deck. Uh, you can kill something with it if you need to. Against like Sultai, you can force him to discard two cards. Or you could just reanimate one of your creatures with three CMC or less, which happens to get all of these cards. Um, so another really kind of useful way in that sense. Uh, Binding of the Old Gods ramps us as well as destroys things. And a couple of extinction events in the main. Also Duress just does Hand Hate, Maze Mind's Tome as a way to gain some card advantage and life. Um, within the mana base, uh, we got a bunch of pathways, one castle, uh, one crawling barons, and then, so there's no Jun Trinome, so we're playing, for binding, we're playing Ketria Trinomes and Z Zagoth, but you can play Indantha, the Abzan one. Uh, basically just green, black, or uh, blue, green. I'm playing these over the snow duels, although they can be fetched just because late game these also have the ability and upside of being cycled if needed. Um, the sideboard still something experimental. More duress versus control, Renaval versus flying or dragon decks, agonizing remorse versus like control or slower decks, uh, roiling vortex versus salt eye alt, wilt flexible if we run into doom decks any, or even against mono red post board it's pretty good. Nightmare for creature decks, or just as hand hate and graveyard exile. Uh, I still like Paladin against um, Salt Eye Alt. It's a 5 2 uh, that gets around Heartless Act and Shadow's Verdict. A lot of our things do get hit by Shadow's Verdict. Now, having said that, we do have our own Shadow's Verdict um, in the board. Um, it's acknowledging the matchups where we will become the control deck, and we just kind of shift our, ourselves up a bit. Um, so that's the deck. Um, I'm going to be playing just a couple unranked. My rank's pretty high right now. I'm like 600 mythic and with a couple days left in the season I don't want to tank too far up. Um, so we'll see how it is. We'll play a couple games. Traditional standard play. If it seems like it's a playable deck we will take it to the ladder or we can do an event with it. But um, I don't want to hop into events just yet because we can't make changes along the way. So part of like the testing and brewing is just getting in front of matches uh, to see where the deck kind of falls short. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing some standard. This is best of three. Uh, and we will then kind of play a bit uh, of different stuff. Do let me know as always if you prefer historic or standard on the channel. If you're catching this on YouTube as always, if you can, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. 
And if you want to know when we go live on Twitch, as always, you can just hit that follow button. Hey, Wabalek, thank you very much. How's it going? I saw you messaged in the Discord. I just haven't had a chance to check it. Check it after the stream. So in the dark, we don't know. Actually, let me wait here. We're still probably playing this, but... Okay, they're on the Toski deck. So this is probably Bone Crusher. Extinction event will be pretty good here. Notably, they don't have white mana right now. Another Chariot's not that great. So this is probably Stomp Me. It's a bit awkward because I want to use this to get rid of this. I don't think we could race them. If they go... Uh, can get them to commit maybe more to the board like this. Use the tokens. I could double block here. My guess is they go Toski here. Duress isn't that great in this matchup. Okay, well, if they want to overcommit. So. I think what we do here screw here make a copy then just extinction event their board only one black source is a little awkward Yeah, glass pools, uh, when you can get the Valkyries going, it's a house. All right, opponent's seen enough. Um, so this matchup is definitely a Shadows Verdict matchup. Um, we can cut these Duress, I think. Probably want the Nightmares, just like all removal. Um, we'll cut those and probably cut an Ox. It's the slowest. And let's say go. It's a good showing. Opponent was missing white mana, but a good old four for one usually will get you there. The nice thing with Eska's Chariot, if they can interact with it, you just kind of snowball. Whew. It's going to be a no. You know, remember we said we needed black lines? Try to draw into a line here. I don't want to go down to five. Unplayable five drop at this point. If they have a fast start, I think this might be a case. We just chalk it up and go to game three. Okay, that's a decent one. So I can go Sarulf and then use it as a way afterwards to clear out their smaller stuff. Go Sarulf next turn, then do Inscription, kill something, and then have one counter and then wipe out their board. Okay, they're going aggressive here. So next turn, we're going to go Inscriptions, kill Lovestruck Beast. So 
So it's just Toski. Easy block. Wipe out their board. So here, let's go. Kill this. We just play this and say, I don't really want to give him an extra card. Hey Titans, how's it going? How's the streaming life going? Yeah, Bublik, if you're playing um, Angels, a lot of them are playing 1-2 to two Toski in the sideboard. Giant Killer Goddess. A good draw, so I can do this. Play this. If we draw a red source. Actually, I can use this mana with ox. Play that out. Titans, I miss the days we used to play Mythic together. It used to be you, me, and uh, and thing. Uh, always trying to get top uh, one thousand at the time. That one kind of sucks. See, now they're gonna get a, quite a bit of an advantage on us. Um, I still think we're going to do this. I like the red mana here. I think we're going to do... They'll have enough with the land to cast both, but we're a bit far behind at this point. Need to find Shadows very key. Hey, Amorfin. How's it going? Yeah, opponent's drawing all the adventure stuff this game. Shadow's Verdict. Kind of falling behind. Yeah, they kind of cascaded into it. They've had like every... Like the two giant killers has been pretty good. And like we killed their giant killer. Yeah, let's just... Okay. Let's take one draw, see if we hit... Okay. Okay. That was decent. I mean, like, we still have to deal with Toski, but that was okay. Like, this being four. Oh, Winona! Winona! I did try to get good. Don't think we really have an out at this point. I like the Winota tech in here. Okay, Shadow's Verdict doesn't do it. Bone Crusher doesn't do it. I can make red mana. I think we're dead anyways. Let's see what we draw. Block, block. Yeah, let's just go to the next game. They went really wide on us. Um... Might want these tomes over the ox, to be honest. With Winota, 
We need to save the extinction events for it. It's really our only answer there. These events still, or nightmares still hit enough things. We'll run it back. Got to see. I think what we want in our sideboard is something like Deadweight. That's something to consider. Um, there's a lot of indestructible stuff, and then, like, our sweeper's not really hitting. No red mana, but I think we give it a shot. Yeah, I like because it's it's not all in Winota. It's like you have Winota as some extra because I've watched you play Winota more than probably anyone, and uh, I've seen you firsthand just never actually draw your Winotas. So it's good as just a backup plan. They probably play like two of. Uh, the only downside of the play queue. Okay, so let's make that change and put a dead weight. What did we get? That flashed like it was cooler than what it actually was. Um, so the consideration, so maybe we do, like I like the shadows verdict. We could do instead of Elspeth's Nightmare. But El Nightmare is good against cycling as well. You have a lot of threes in the deck though. Like your fours are, like we're not playing the full set of bindings. Run a foul seems kind of narrow. Let's do dead weight. Or we instead of dead weight, we can do e to extinction. I think I like that one. E to extinct. Because this will also deal with planeswalkers. So then we have the ability to just scale up one. We test him. That's the fun part. What have you been? What did you get to diamond with Titans? Yorian. This hand's too slow. This hand's fine. A Ketria here. So I figure we do Ketria into Dark Boar on Black, play Maze Mind. So I feel like game one they have the advantage, especially we're not putting much pressure on early. It's not a bad draw. So right now we look like a Sultai ult deck until they see the tech. We do have the combo, the... Get that out of the way. Blow up their land, make copies with it. So we have the option here. I'm going to prioritize drawing cards here. No ramping for the opponent's good. Hmm. I think we want to save the duress for the turn that they could have. Uh, what's it called? Um, salt I alt. Typhoon for one. So this might be a more controlling version. So we need, might need to be mindful of main board counters. We have Heartless Act. I'm not too worried about a 1-1 one -one shark. So 
this is actually interesting. If they go after Chariot, or if they go after... I mean, at the worst case, it was a four mana make two two tokens. We can start pressuring the opponent. It's actually not bad. Um, do I want to keep them off ramp? I think we do. Just keep them off ramp here. They won't have too many targets that are worthwhile. And then this helps us get ahead on mana. Could see like Shadow's Verdict come down next turn. But I feel like if they have that, then they block with the shark. Okay, this is gonna be a binding your binding kind of game. Or are they going after my tome? Sure. I feel like if they're targeting that, it's not the end of the world. I think here we do scry. I wanna find like another threat. don't think we want Chevelle here. That's good. So we do this. Let's attack. We'll draw a card now and then I'm gonna duress them. Cool, hit the lands. Didn't wanna play another creature because it just plays into a sweeper. Uh, Saw coming, crippling fear, heartless act. Take him off the fear. Um, so this is red, green, green. So we're probably just green lined here. So I took the crippling fear here. They have the counter spell, which is fine, but the crippling fear gets both of these. This way they have to deal like one on one. I have the heartless act that we can take counters off this if needed. I can also, okay, so they just Yorian to hand, that's fine. We got the Barons as well, which is nice. Um, probably just blow up this lion is my guess. And we could do it on their end step. Don't let them spend this mana. Hey, I'm Rippin. No, um, I want to keep the curve a bit lower. Uh, thus far, I haven't needed Garuk. Can do it on their upkeep, actually. Okay, so now that they can't Heartless. Uh, I guess if they have a Sweeper, then we wait. I guess the thing is, this could be an extra turn spell. Because the thing is, I do have a large number of creatures. Like, I don't know. I've been beat by Garuk, but I've also lost a fair share. Let's take him off this. Expect Heartless Act to be coming here. That's fine. Still got him on a two turn clock here. Let's see what we hit here. Hmm. 
So I can do this. They probably saw it coming. I still have Heartless Act up. I think we just passed the turn. What I'll do is um, just put counters on this. I don't think this version's on the um, the ultimatum. So let them decide what they want, and then I have Heartless Act on my turn. They do have. Um, two mana up so they're probably digging for just like a heart eliminate or heartless act do a binding as well kill you these uh these two cats have got us the distance okay they had saw it coming But what the opponent didn't see coming Meow. <laughs> all right so this matchup slower so we'll bring in the vortex we'll bring in the paladins remorses duress um fairly confident we could get rid of extinction event probably don't want gargaroth don't want these chevelles Gargaroth just dies to too much stuff in this deck. Um, Surik. Oh, I got a lot of these. Actually, I mm, guess we keep a Blood Chief and then keep. They had the Crawling Barons and the Shark Tokens. So I guess we keep it like this. It's really just the Crawling Barons I care about, but we can usually get them ahead on damage and then take them out. Play it out kind of like that. Mm, there's no pressure in this hand. Let's try it out. We're going to go 20 turn win con. Um, can sneak this around counter magic. Let's put this down now. I can just duress them next turn. This might force them to play a shark. So they do cultivate. Be interesting to see if they're like on an Ugin game plan here. Shark, sock coming. Behold, heartless act. Hide the fact that we don't have green right now. So they could have a counter spell here. They'll have the second blue. Descriptions is pretty nice. Um, that kind of forces a counter spell out of them. Make it seem like we have something here. So this is why I like inscriptions. It's pretty flexible, so we can use it as a discard spell. Okay, 
and they behold in response. Okay, they got rid of the Heartless, which is good. Trying to use this token to get us there. So notably, we need to put this on green, this on red. I think this turn... I'm gonna get this out now, because we're probably playing out the Ox next turn. Bust it out in a gate, that's fine. Gonna take out the castle. Got second castle, so guess not. Likely seeing Yori in this turn. And then just foretell. That's actually a good draw. So the issue is I blow up their land, but then I'm behind on red mana. I think we still do it. I don't want to run this into the counter spell, which we know that they have. The roof's not bad. Pass through there too quick. We're supposed to blow up their line. So likely I'll see some sort of removal here. Top top is kind of scary. Do the three damage here. They're being patient. So we'll see what they come out with. Easiest shark of my life. This now gets around Heartless Act. Do that while they're tapped out. Titans, thank you for the sub. Appreciate the support as always. That's fine. See if they Yorian blink it here. Okay, well. Wincon a, a Obtained. Crawling Barons versus the world. So I think we Heartless Act here. Try to bait out the counter spell. Okay, they let it go. They showed the... Hey, David. It's going well. How about yourself? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, we'll make this green. We have seven cards in our graveyard at this point, so... I think we're just saying, do you want to counter this now, or we escape it back? 
Were you streaming today, David? Okay, got the counter out of them. We could pump this up one more. Would have liked another red source at a point in time, so we can crack this. It's, I, I think it's the right play. It refills our hand. I think this Barons is. What are you working on right now? Okay, so they got an escape. That's likely a counter spell. It doesn't change the clock at all, so we're just gonna do this. Actually, I did that wrong. I should have left the double red up, because if they countered it, could have, just in case we draw the land here, if they countered it, I could have escaped the ox. Uh, nice. Yeah, I gotta work on uh, some of the stream stuff. Um, I think we're gonna hold this. It doesn't add red, and it lets me get the card in the graveyard for Ox. So they need exactly eliminate, otherwise they're dead. Oh, or that. Um... See if we hit it. Bone Crusher doesn't do it. That was a good last call. Um, we'll do this. Okay, we got the Chariot and we got Valky. Valky's gonna be what we try to throw down next turn. Um, so I think we just do this. That coma came up clutch. Cause now I don't wanna Ox either. Let's see if we get a counter spell out of them. Okay, that's good. Cause Valky's a way to get around this coma. And then we get to cast the coma, and then we are the Serpent Overlords. Top Top is not the world I want to be in. Interesting. They keep that back. Hey, well, got the red source. Do we get to cast the Cosmic Impasta? Is that a counterspell? Is that a counterspell? It's a... It's a GG for us. They found it. They found their line that was the out. Um, we are definitely adding an Eat to Extinction. That's a for sure. Um, I think I like the Duress. Can probably trim the Eliminate. Run it back like this. Coma's a big boy. Comes down, smacks your face, lets you know what's up. We had her out. We just needed them to not find that one last counter spell. That was a good match though. If all standard was that interesting, I'd be happy.
Let's go. They haven't really shown sweepers, but they might have not brought too many in against us. It might, they had the Heartless Act, so even bringing in stuff. The thing is, uh, what's its name? Chevelle's not really a clock. <sighs> Sounds a bit awkward. We do have the Vortex and the Tome. I think we keep it. These Ketrias not being Angantha, or whatever the Sultai one's called, Zagoth. A little bit awkward, but hope to draw an untapped line on two. This gets the clock going. This can gain us life. We have a, a removal spell. Of course, we draw this now. That's fine. I think we want to prioritize drawing cards here. So I want to give them two targets in case they have um, binding. Okay, no counter, but behold, lets them dig. This is tricky. I may want like robber of the rich. Like this is a, a matchup where you'd have like Goblin Rabble Master. We might just be too, but this is like, you don't really see Sultai control. You see the ultimatum deck. can shock here but I think I actually just like doing this saying go because the thing is with vortex out I need to be mindful of my life total with this castle so I can't just keep drawing cards so at least like this this puts some pressure on them to have something great I'm gonna kill it that's fine I think we do this get this start to charge up because here this is the turn where we need to be mindful if they just go coma. We want to be able to kill it before they're able to make it indestructible. And now we just ping them a bit. Let's see what's going on up here. Interesting. They're doing that. So it could be that they want to protect themselves against something. Or like protect a spell. This lets us see. Okay, so it's probably a counter spell for the duress. So they have their own duress. Erebos' intervention, disdainful stroke. So this is definitely taking the Erebos' intervention.
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can still upkeep if they have coma when the trigger is on the stack. This lets me get around the Erebos' intervention. Setting an upkeep stop in case they go coma here. We want to do it before the trigger goes on the stack. Okay, so here we're in a pretty good spot. They, they haven't duressed yet, which is really interesting. I actually think that we let them make the move here. Because they kept this on top, so it has to be something. So it's likely another removal spell for this Crawling Barons. Okay, it's just Shark. Killing it now. This is actually a card we should probably consider. Erebos' intervention in the side instead of Eats Extinction. It's a lot more flexible of a card. So we may see a Duress here. We, we really are just playing around this one card. Yuring to hand. I mean, at this point, they have to have eliminate. Ooh, chariot. Yeah. Goes to eight. They're dead on upkeep. Easy game. Easy, easy. Lemon squeezy. This deck was actually pretty sick. So I do think this is something we'll take to the ladder in future iterations. Uh, Eat Extinction should be Erebos' intervention. Does the same thing in terms of exiling, but also gives you the life gain, which is nice. Um, paired that. Elspeth's Nightmare. Yeah, I think that would be a good suite. So this is probably where I'd keep the list for the time being. Um, the, the one of crawling. The um, the teamer one that goes into the into coma. I haven't tried that one yet. I'll be honest. I'm not crazy about like teamer adventure decks. Um, I'll play them, but they're not really my play style. Um, I'll give it a shot though. Anyways, I'm gonna. This was a quick stream today. Just wanted to get some games in with this one.